Oh, wow. This is pure magic. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. How cool is that? I bought a whole wad of pens. They react with fire. Which of course I saw advertised to me on Instagram. I mean, let's face it. I, anyone who advertises random art gimmicks to me on Instagram, they've got a purchase. There's a boardroom somewhere where like, our analytics show that there is this one user who doesn't matter what crap we throw at him, who's gonna buy it and is gonna advertise it himself for us. So let's just keep selling to him. There it is, elemental ink pens. I mean, they make that look really good. Is it gonna look like that? I don't know. I mean, I hope so. I should be able to do that at least. Let's do that. See what I'm doing here? So that's, that's what we're gonna reveal. I don't know if I'll be able to mask this to like make it look invisible, but I just need a lot of vertical and horizontal lines. Oh, there's a puppy. Are we having another puppy cameo? Come here, come on. Do you wanna be, do you wanna be in a video? I wanna show you a magic trick. If I put fire on my drawing, what do you think will happen? Yeah, I think it might burn. You think it might burn? Let's find out. One, two, three. What the heck? What the heck? Whoa, that's cool. This is better than I expected by a long shot. Do you reckon I should spend a whole day playing with that different art supply? Mm -hmm. Tick of approval to get started. That was a fun little guest spot. Bye. Bye. I have an art supply that is a gimmick and cool, like, and it works. Like, look at that advertisement. I now believe that it's the same thing and it works. That's genuinely a surprise. <laughs> I am now gonna move forward and create some illustrations. I think I'm gonna scale up, getting incrementally more ambitious. And I'm gonna try and do uh, artworks that uh, have two states, like reveal different things or tell different messages, I think. This is cool, this is gonna be awesome. So, to make it as awesome as possible, I'm gonna start simple, and I'm gonna do a few illustrations, show you them as I go, and get as ambitious as I can today with this actually really cool art supply. At first you dabble, and then you dive. So we're gonna dive into the activity. But before that, I need to let you know that if you wanna dive into creative activities, like drawing, you need to dabble and learn a bit first, and one of the best ways to do that is on Skillshare, the sponsor of this video. For example, if you wanna learn how to draw, I have a class on illustration from the refined sketch stage through to line work and line techniques, coloring and coloring techniques and color picking techniques and coloring effects to have the best outcome possible. All in the one class to teach you how to take your illustration to the next level. And that's just one great class on Skillshare. So go check it out. And in fact, you can check it out for free if you're quick enough. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description will get a free premium trial on Skillshare to enjoy all of the classes on Skillshare, including yours truly, whether you want to do acrylic pouring or painting or calligraphy or illustration, animation, using specific programs like Procreate on the iPad Pro or whatever it is, Skillshare will cater to those and give the professional experience and skill and tuition and class experience that YouTube and other platforms don't provide. So go check it out. Like I said, uh, first 1,000 people to use that link will get that free trial and a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. <sighs> Standing desk does bigger, bring a different energy, doesn't it? Yeah. A little, I don't know if it's a little, good energy. I don't, me well, neither. I don't I'm really I don't undecided. Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'm just warming up for 2021. This might be a little too, a little too hot. Before going into making illustrations, I've got all these colored pens. I don't know if they're black or blue or actually colored. So I thought I'd give them a little test. They're colored. That's cool. So uh, let's give the whole thing a bit more depth and a bit more saturation. I drew a bit of a funky little shape and basically fill it all in with all the colors, making as decent a, a rough gradient between them all as I can. At the end of the day, they're ballpoint pens. They don't feel or look particularly good, but I've got colors to work with and that's really cool. So the test then is to see if they are as effective as the black one was. And yes, this is pure magic. I am genuinely blown away. This is really cool. Next, I need to see if I can bring it back or if it fades back in over time. I just gave it a little bit of time to cool, blew on it a little bit, nothing happened. So I thought maybe ice might reverse it. So I went to go get something cold. There's not much in our freezer uh, except for my frozen lunches. So I'll just, I'll just grab one of those. 
and r rub my experiment all over my soon to be devoured lunch. <laughs> uh, nothing happened. So I just set my experiment aside uh, just to see if it faded back into color and saturation and visibility over time. But in the meantime, it was time to put my lunch away, get to work. And we're starting simple, starting uh, predictable, some might say, I'll still let you guess. Um, and in fact, uh, the, the satisfying part of this video I am imagining is gonna be the reveals. So there's gonna be a little bit of mystery as you can see while I'm going through this planning and preparation phase. I don't wanna give away what my end outcome will be, but as it comes together and as you can see, I'm laying in all my magic pens, you start to see the concept that it's going to end up as, which I can sort of show as it comes together, but uh, I'm really excited to see how effective this is with an illustration and working with the, the pen as the base how nice it cleans up and comes together at the end. <sighs> All right, this is gonna be lit. Now my experiment, even after quite a while of waiting, has not showed up again, which tells me, even with cold applied or time, there's no reversing it. Once we lose our original artworks with the magic pens, uh, it's gone forever. So this is the last time you'll see my little cartoon zombie. I uh, wonder which character this is. All right, you ready? We're gonna bring the dead back to life with fire. Oh my God. Oh my God, that is so satisfying. Whoa. How cool is that? And it's so clean underneath. Oh, wow. God, that's good. Well, I feel like I could be burning this paper any time now. I feel like I'm definitely <laughs> living on the edge here. Look at that. Oh, who's, who's that happy guy? Look at that. It's, it's Jazza with a d serious eye infection. <laughs> okay, well, it shows that it cleans up really well, but if you layer and layer and layer and layer, which I tried to do to black out that eye so it looks like a cavity. It, it, it yeah, that, that, that doesn't hold up well. But still, I mean, look at that. That's a complete transformation and that is very cool. All right, we're gonna ramp it up a bit. All right, that was amazing. Now it's time to see how far we can take this. And I really wanna play with some different concepts. We had a little cheeky muck around. I'm gonna get a little bit more creative and artistic and uh, thematically I don't know if I'd say darker, but just a bit more serious, I guess. I don't, I don't want to give away too much, but let's just say with all of my illustrations, I want to explore something different. I want to navigate a different theme visually and see how well I can pull that off and how cool that transition emphasizes the creation. And let's just say the theme of this one is the opposite of the last one. I'm just going to leave that little cryptic clue there and let you guess. So here is my final Byroad artwork. It's pretty cool, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. It's a sweet little couple. They're just getting married. They're having a lovely celebration, that's lovely. You know how I said that this one is the opposite of this one? Well, in this one, we brought the dead back to life. Fair warning, this one might be slightly sad. Oh, look at the happy couple on their wedding day. God, I gotta say, it's pretty satisfying, especially when it's like really filled in. Are you getting sad? I don't like this one. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. Didn't you really? No, I didn't see the gravestone. <laughs> there you go. And that's how you can tell it's real art and makes you feel things. It was a pretty s severe change. I really want an intense shift in narrative and visuals. I think I achieved that. I think that worked really well. The next one, I'll do the opposite. I'm going to go from sad to happy. Yay. Yeah. I have to say it's quite a challenge, uh, both coming up with concepts that will work visually shifting from one to the other, but then also like figuring out how to make it work visually. And you sort of have to reverse engineer, like what do you want it to look like in the end? And then how do you start? And then you, you just got to be bloody well sure you don't make mistakes on the way so that you don't stuff up your journey on the way to creating that transition. But this one I think should be pretty cool, pretty satisfying. Time will tell, but in the meantime, here's how it uh, wrapped up. This one's a little bit sadder. We've got a bit of a homeless man. Let's just say life hasn't gone the way he would have hoped, but there's a message in this artwork, and that is that underneath what you might judge on the surface could be someone entirely different, or someone could experience an entirely different life to what they had to, I don't know, there's a message somewhere. So, I don't know, I'll do the transition and you figure out the cool message for me and let me know in the comments. <laughs> 
That is so satisfying. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> is that the same person that I judged so harshly before? It seems like beauty is more than skin deep. Maybe that's the message. Uh, it's so satisfying just looking at it turn from one artwork into another. There you go, another pretty intense transition and I, I really like the idea of taking one person or one character and transforming them quite drastically from one state into another. So that was really fun. I'm gonna do one more artwork and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put everything I got into this next one. So I wanna illustrate my best transitional image and I really hope it's something that is cool. I have to have a think about what that is and I'll spend a bunch more time on this one too, but uh, just one more shout out to that Skillshare class. If you enjoy these illustrations and I certainly hope you enjoy the next one, which is gonna, I'm gonna put a lot more into it. Follow along with my class because I'll show you how to do all this stuff. It's very, very cool. So with one final illustration ahead of me, I'm gonna put everything I discovered through my dabbling into this big dive and also work to my strengths. I tend to prefer and be better at sort of more cartoony and stylistic images. So I'm gonna lean into that and make a scene of two characters in battle but I'm gonna go in a much more cartoony direction aesthetically and really try and play uh, with an extreme transition, add some lighting effects, which also I think uh, probably help distract um, from seeing the original illustration that we're going to be revealing because we're adding some tone and variation in the hues. All in all, I really like how this one's coming together and I'm really excited to see the transition. And frankly, it, this one took so long that I forget what it looked like when I started it. But before we do, soak it in, because this is the last time we'll see this image in its complete form. And I'm gonna say I'm really happy with it. I'm slightly sad I'm losing it, because I like the tone. I, th I think it's kind of a cool composition. The characters look cool, the lighting looks cool, the scene looks cool, I like it. Now I'm gonna destroy it. Let's, let's do this. face. Get that transformation. Hey. <laughs> she's happy. Things are simplifying a little bit. All of a sudden, she's not the knight. Just a girl with a stick. Look at that. That's really cool. That was a fun transformation. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at it go. Look at it go. That's so cool. Ah, oh, this one's fun. Look at that. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to come across this way. So the spell disappears, the wall, the bricks, and the textures, they're all part of the imaginative story that these kids are telling together. It's just a couple of kids having a play. Yay! That worked really well. All of these actually worked really well that it worked so well, like that these pens actually work. Cause usually the cheap crap gimmicks I buy off the internet are really just good fun for a laugh with you guys. But this was really, really cool. Hashtag not sponsored by the shop of many things, but I am sponsored by Skillshare. In all seriousness, be one of those first thousand people so you can join in my class and uh, learn to draw a little bit like me. Actually, one of the things I did in my class was quite like this illustration, two kids playing in a sandpit but just a little more simple, a little easier to follow. And the other illustration I made in my class isn't unlike this one too, except it's far more gritty and comic book-esque and intense with our two characters fighting. But I take you through every step of the process. And if you like art and drawing and want to give learning a few new skills a go, I can show you a few of mine and plenty of other teachers on Skillshare can show you theirs. Otherwise, if just joining in for the fun and experimenting and seeing new things happen with art every now and then is your thing, then make sure to subscribe for more fun with art and creativity. This was really fun. Good first video back, team. Self five. Yeah. I hope you've had a little bit of fun with me here today. Thank you for watching. There are more videos over there you're bound to enjoy. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what do you what you want to see me experiment with or some other dumb gimmicks that may actually be amazing that I might want to check out. Otherwise, stick around until next time when I will see you later. You said that weird. I did say that weird. That was not the way I... And until next time... This year's going to be different, isn't it?